I feel like a mess. I'm probably not, but I feel like a mess. I'm thirsty. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for the Roulette Pan collab. And yes, my background has changed because we are painting in the room that I was filming in because that is going to be Baby Girl's room. So that is now pink and my filming corner is completely disaster. That is not it's not existing anymore. I have moved it all into my bedroom and including my clothing. I need to find out where I want to film. So this is going to be the temporary filming spot. Yes, we are going to do the update, the final update for this round in the Roulette Pan collab. And this is the eighth round. I have actually met three goals for this update. One of them I know I hit last month, but for some reason my pregnancy brain didn't really realize that. So I could have rolled in a new category last month, but I didn't. So we are going to do that today. We were supposed to pick six items, I believe, randomized from an Excel spreadsheet with 100 categories. Let me just show you the progress that I have and the empties goals met for this update and we can roll in some new items. I'm really excited about it, even though there's only one month left. If you haven't already, check out Rebecca and Alexi that created this project and they created it so long time ago now, maybe two years, maybe more, insane. The product that I hit my goal on last time and one of you guys was really awake. So my goal was to hit a quarter of this product and then call it done. I definitely think I have. And this is for the category, a product that you bought because of the hype. And this Vaseline was definitely hyped quite a few years ago. And um, so this is getting old as well, so I really wanted to use it more. I definitely have met my quarter goal. I'm going to rule this out. I am still going to continue using this every single night. I just knew when I put it in that I couldn't finish it in these three months because you don't need a lot of this. In general with lip balm or Vaseline you don't need a lot yes the next product that I have hit my goal on is my slick makeup highlighting palette and this is for a product a YouTube friend is panning and I have seen a few ladies pan these and especially Steph Lyons she is almost done with hers but she has worked on it for like four years my goal for this palette was to use each shade five times each and I have hit it this update. I was really focused on hitting my five uses goal on this cream highlight because for some reason I just forgot. But what I noticed was that it is actually a smidgen too dark for me because I haven't gotten a tan yet this year. I do really really like this palette. The cream highlighter is just not a fave but that's okay. I can make it work to the extent that I actually like it but I have used better cream highlighters. But yeah, rolling this out for something new. And the last item that I hit my goal on is my Luna Beauty Lives a Drag palette. My goal was to use each shade once. And I have. <laughs> I'm really, really excited about it. It was for a product you haven't used or opened. Before this product, I haven't used this. I have only swatched it a few times in my shopping stash collab. Uh, shopping my sham shopping our stash collab. I can't talk today. I'm sorry, but yes, I have used each shade once and some of them more than once, and I'm pretty excited about it actually. So I will pop in some pictures right here of my looks. I had the blue shades left, the cool tones, and then this black left. But yes, I will pop in the pictures so you can see where what my looks were and what I created with this. A product out of season, I chose my Ninjua nail polish in this coal color and this is for sure out of season when I introduced this as I have said the last few times. It was winter and I don't think coal nail polish is a winter color. So I chose this and I have been enjoying it so much but I have been so sloppy at painting my nails this last month. And maybe it's because I don't do practice polish this year. <laughs> I don't have any nail polish empties yet this year. And 
yeah, I'm just not motivated to do my nails and I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be better when I have a baby. <laughs> so it hasn't moved since my marking last time or in the beginning actually, but it is just below the marking that here on the edge. Yeah, I didn't have a goal for this. I just wanted to use it more and I definitely have. I just wish I had more progress. A product that you save for a special occasion. I chose my glitter liners because I don't use them every day. And I had a goal of using each of these five times. I haven't used them since the last update. So they are still at two uses each. I still need three uses of each product. And I have no idea how I'm going to hit that by the next update if I haven't used it in this last month. As I said last month, you can still see some progress. I'm down to here now. I can see through the iridescent one. I'm kind of halfway. The gold is kind of the same spot. And the silver is quite a bit below that. So that is definitely halfway. So it's exciting that I can see windows in these products but I just haven't used them. My skincare product which is actually really exciting to talk about this month. I did horrible last month because I didn't wear that much makeup because I work from home. Now I am working full time at the office so I go out every day so I put a full face of makeup on, makeup on every day. So I do my skincare now. Yes. <laughs> Apparently I am not good good at doing my skincare when I don't have any makeup on. So, for this update, I have made a lot of progress. I was up to there the last, last time and now I'm down to here. So I can really see me finishing this off by next update and that is pretty exciting. Yeah, I'm really excited to have this done by next update because then I can buy something new. Try something new. Okay, let's just do it. <laughs> I'm going to randomize 1 to 93 because I have used 7 categories. So let's hope the computer wants to work with me in a minute. Okay, first category 30. A product that everyone hates but you love. Okay, 52. An item in a pastel, pastel shade. Okay. 68. A product that seems never ending. Well, I have a lot of products for that. Let me go find my products and then I will be right back. I'm back. <laughs> that was really, really hard. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, I have just listed them in the order of the numbers in the spreadsheet, so that is just what I'm going to do. A product that you love but everyone hates, right? Yeah, well, a product that everyone hates that you love, whatever. I have chosen the W7 Delicious palette. When this came out, it was 50-50. It was 50-50 because this palette is a dupe or something like that for the modern renaissance palette and that is why a lot of people didn't like this and really hated it because it wasn't the same uh, well the color scheme and the layout is the same people just was not very positive about this palette and hated w7 a little bit about it but i really really love w7 so i chose this product and i want to use every single shade once Let's see if I can do that in a month. I think it will be fairly easy because these are mostly all neutral. The Luna Beauty palette was half colorful, half neutral. But I do think if I can use this over a week or something and then use every single shade. And more shades in one look. So I think I can do it. I'm excited about it. But something that I don't like about this palette, if we should go there, the shade doesn't have names and that is the only W7 palette that doesn't have names with the cardboard packaging. After this palette, they released the only palette with names. The other product is, yeah, an item of a pastel shade. Is it called that? I don't know. A pastel shade for a product. And I have this in my drop to 10, drop 10 before summer and I really wanted to use every single shade once and maybe even a pen if I could 
spoiler, no pants yet. Um, but I have gotten some really nice use out of it. But I am going to choose this lavender pastel purple thing right here. <laughs> that shade right there. And I want to use it 10 times. It is called Tranced. And that was the first item that I was thinking of. And I thought it was really smart to choose a palette that I was already working on in another project. The last item is a product that seems never ending. And I chose my Dove 7 Go Concealer. And this is in the shade Light. I have the shade Fair, but because I use this underneath my foundation, you can't see through it anyway. So I don't really mind. So I thought, why not work on a darker color first? Because why not? I have the biggest dip in this product, for real. <laughs> I only use a small amount each time and each day. I do wear it on a regular basis, but for some reason it doesn't go anywhere. It just creates a dip. Hopefully I can hit, hit pan in a month. And that will be my goal. Because the, the dip is quite big, to be honest. That is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was a bit long, but I had so much to talk about and I haven't filmed in a long time. So I guess that is why. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry if I was a little rambly. Hope you don't mind. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe down below if you're new here. I do a lot of project planning videos and empties and stuff like that. If you have any videos, wishes, recommendations, anything, leave them down below in the comments and I will definitely check them out. Check out Rebecca and Alexi if you haven't already and until my next video, please take care. Bye!